hello guys welcome once again and welcome to my channel today in this video i will be showing you how you can get free ssl certificate on amazon aws server so let's get started with this video hey guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can never miss an update so guys firstly i will be telling you what is ssl certificate so on many website you must have seen that uh, when you try to log in and you must have seen this lock icon which says when you click on it it says connection is secure that means the website or the server is being encrypted and it is been using ssl certificate if you want to see the certificate you can click on here certificate and you can view the details of this so once you get your ssl certificate for your domain or for your website the website will be will be you can see you can run your website on https if you don't have your ssl certificate then your website will run on http so let me just show you i want to get ssl certificate for this website right now it says not secure you can see here and if i click here it shows me like you know not secure so once i get my ssl certificate for this website it will show me secure here so for that what i have to do i will just log in into my aws account you can see here so once you log in you will see a service button just click on it you have to just go to service and below here you will see a option which says security identity and compliance so what you have to do here you will see a option which will say certificate manager so you can see a certificate manager once i click on certificate manager this page appears so here i have to create a new ssl certificate you can see here manages renal all ssl it is written so i'll just click on get started and here you can see i want to create a public certificate so i'll just request a certificate and i will able to see this kind of form here so i have to fill all the details so basically i will just write the name of the domain which is tip74.com and if i want to add another so like let's say i want to use other websites let's call it tip74 or sub domains let's say www.74.tip74.com uh, in this way so i'll just click here on next button and this will be dns validation or email validation i have to choose so basically i will select email validation and once i click on email validation it will you know send me a confirm request so guys you can see here it says request is in progress so now what happened here is it it is waiting for my validation so if i am the owner of this domain or not amazon have sent me an email just to you know verify whether i am the owner of this platform or not so i'll just click on continue and you can see here pending validation that means it is now the status is pending here and i'll just show you after the validating the email so wait for it so guys you can see here validation has been done the mail which i received from amazon has been validated and approved that this is my server and you can see it says the status is issued and when i click on it it says success success you can see here and right now in in use it says no because currently the certificate is not in use so for that how what we will do what we have to do let me just show you you have to just click here and search for cloud front you can see here just open this on a new tab right now it's showing me create distribution because i don't have any cloud front for now so i'll create a new distribution i'll just click here and you can see here create distribution and origin setting and all these things are here so basically here what you have to do is you have to write the origin domain name so what will be the domain name from where you will get the domain name or or you know what you call it endpoint of the server so how you will get it you have to go to services and if you are using ec2 
then you have to just go to your EC2 instance let me just show you how to do that so just basically click here instances and you will be able to see the instance here <clears throat> and you can see the instance ID once I click on it you will see this uh, this thing so just copy this public DNS you can see IP4 so you have to copy this and now this is not required you can close this and you have to paste this here without HTTP and in origin ID you have to just write tip 74 or whatever your server name I mean the domain name is you have to write that otherwise this confront uh, sorry this cloud front will not be visible so now you can see your yes, SSL certificate now you have to select the certificate you have to select custom certificate because I have already created one you can see here so I have selected the certificate if you can't see the listed certificate here then what you have to do is you have to delete the certificate and you have to create your certificate in US East one region then only that particular certificate will be visible here so I have just selected the certificate and uh, before submission before creation I'll just write the alternates of my domain so uh, let's say www.tip74.com or maybe I can use star.tip74.com if I want so right now I don't have any subdomain so I'm just clicking it here and I'm just writing tip74.com as well so these two are my alternatives and I'll just create a new distribution here so you can see here right now the status is in progress and the status is enabled so once this has been the status changes you have to do one more thing which I'll show you right now so you will have to go to route 53 once you open this route 53 you will able to see this hosted zone right now hosted zone I have already hosted this 74.com tip74.com so it is showing me and uh, you can see here uh, it's showing me all the records so right now the default record which I was using was this using IP you can see here if I write tip74.com it will open but not secure you can see right now the status in progress last thing what you have to do is you have to just you know delete this record I'll just copy this IP if I require I'll just delete this record confirm I deleted the record now my website must not be working you can see here in some time the website will be disabled I won't be able to use my website because I have deleted the record from here and now I'll create a new record for that what I have to do I will not write any name and I will have to select alias and I'll just click yes and here below that you will able to see the cloud front which you just created so this is the cloud front I'll just select this and I'll just click on create and you can see here I have successfully created the uh, record here now I'll just go to back zone and I'll just wait for this status to get deployed once this thing is done we will be you know able to use our uh, website on HTTPS so guys I forgot to tell you one thing you have to just go to uh, behavior and just click edit and uh, in the viewer policy you have to set it to redirect from HTTP to HTTPS you have to select this and just edit this once once this thing is done you will able to use your you know website on HTTPS so guys you can see here the status has been changed to deployed now let's run our website and let's see whether it's working or not I'll just refresh my website here and currently it's not redirecting to HTTPS wait for maybe 30 minutes if it will take time for changes so guys after 10 minutes let's check again and 
let's refresh and check so guys you can see SSL has been implemented and you can see it shows connection is secure so in this way you can implement free CloudFront SSL on your AWS server that's all in today's video if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to share this channel thanks for watching this video and bye for now